Hi guys, my name is Anuj and uh, today I'm going to show you this first project that I've made using Streamlit application. So I'm going to show you how the application basically functions and how what's the intent of making this project in the first place. So I recently updated a file on my LinkedIn post if you want to check that out. It's basically a machine learning code starting from uh, data collection and talks about the variety of things that we do as a data scientist. So a lot of things have been processed which are very interesting and a lot of exploratory data analysis. Uh, you'll find different techniques utilized and different model choices, uh, hyperparameter tuning. So please do check that out. You'll have a lot of interesting things to see there. And in this demo, what I'm going to show you is how the interface looks like using Streamlit. So what you see here is basically the UI or the user interface, which is being uh, designed and developed on Streamlit platform. So I'm quickly going to walk you through the interface and the demo. But before I do that, if I just have to give you a quick background of what exactly this project is all about. So I would say that on unified payment interface, uh, I think this uh, plays a very important part in uh, today's life, right? So it does not matter whether it's a vendor selling uh, vegetables on the streets or you talk about, you know, hi-fi restaurants or hotel rooms, uh, whether you're utilizing any services today, right? Or it does not matter whether you're a child or whether, uh, whether you are, you know, a mature uh, mid-40s or somebody in their mid-30s. does not matter what age group you belong to. It does not matter. However, I believe that in some part uh, of your lifestyle, UPI will definitely be there because it has made our life so easy. However, it's not uh, all positive because UPI has made you know everything so easy for us and convenient for us, but it also uh, leads to a lot of fraudulent transactions. And the reason for that is that many of the people utilizing UPI for their day-to-day -day transactions, maybe selling services, selling vegetables on the streets, or maybe a different vendor. Many of them are not exactly sure how to utilize it, or they do not fully understand the UPI functionality. And that is why it might lead to a lot of fraud. So the intent of this project is basically to help and detect the fraudulent transactions and try to find patterns which might lead to fraud. Well, uh, enough of talking. Let's start with the demo. So as you can see on your screen, there are some inputs here, which includes the date of the transaction, the transaction type, as you can see, uh, via payment gateway, which you can choose according to yourself. We can decide the state of the transaction. You just have to enter the amount. Let's suppose I'll enter 1000. So once you're done with the inputs that you're provided, you can check for an individual transaction using this button that you can see. It tells you whether this is a fraud or not. It is not a fraudulent transactions, which is fantastic. However, in a business profile or in a business environment, this might not be the most ideal way to, you know, utilize this model because nobody has the time to check for individual transactions. And keeping that in mind, what I've done is I have inbuilt a functionality which allows you to submit a CSV format. Well, utilizing this is very simple. So it has the same inputs as you can see on the screen. To utilize this, what you have to do is you can just click on this download CSV. Once you do this, this file will be downloaded with a sample data in it. All you have to do or the business has to do is they have to modify this data set. Okay. Keeping the inputs intact in the same format. Once their file is updated, they can just click on browse files and they can select the file wherever it is stored. So within one go, within just a matter of seconds, once you upload your file, which includes the data that you want to check whether that's a fraud or not. You can check for hundreds and thousands of data or thousands of transactions in one go. It will be able to detect whether they are actually a fraud transaction or a not a fraud transactions based on the training that we have done for the models. And you would be able to download the CSV file for yourself, which will save a lot of time for the businesses and will give very important insights as to where exactly they need to invest or pay some more attention to be able to avoid fraud going forward in the transactions. So this was all about the demo. I'll just show you one more demo here. So I'll just select, let's suppose one transaction here. I'll keep the uh, rest of the things uh, intact. Let's suppose I select Goa. And keeping the daily transaction limit in mind, uh, we can only input uh, up to five lakhs. So I wanted to keep it as practical as possible. Let's check for this one. As you can see, it says, oh no, this is a fraudulent transaction. So yes, this was the quick demo of my project. If you really enjoyed it, I hope you got something to learn. 
if you have any questions do check out my post for linkedin wherein i have shared the project for my machine learning uh, the detailed code for this project and uh, also you can reach out to me if you have any questions about this i'll be more than happy to help so thank you so much uh, thank you for this video watching it and please do share your feedback thank you